What's up guys, welcome back to Abby's Designs. My name is Mike. Today I am going to start building what I'm calling the horse racing game. I realize you might not know what that means at the moment, but believe me, this game is super fun. It's great for when you're having a bunch of people over and uh, wanna do something a little bit out of the norm. norm. Uh, you know, there's the classic board games, which are great, don't get me wrong. This one's a lot more fun, trust me. I'm going to be using oak and walnut for this project, two different colors of wood, um, which is going to kind of create lanes on the board, um, which you'll see um, in this video. I'm going to be doing it the same way, similar way that you'd be doing that you would glue up a cutting board. It's been pretty popular lately. Um, you know, using different colors of wood to create different patterns on a cutting board. I'm going to be doing the same, same, same idea type of thing here. So. Um, I'm gonna get started on this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Stay tuned and check this bad boy out. All right guys, check it out. The um, pieces are all cut here. I have them organized. Got 13 pieces of oak and 12 pieces of walnut. I left the two end pieces of oak a little bit thicker, a little bit wider than the rest of the pieces. These internal pieces are three quarters of an inch wide. These last ones are wider than that. Just to give myself some room so that I can cut the board after it's assembled to its final dimensions. Um, so if I line these all up and organize them, this is what the board is actually gonna look like. Got the walnut separating the oak, creating the lanes for the horses to run down. Um, check this out. These are the horses, I ordered these online. These look hilarious. Um, we'll get to those later, but this is, this is gonna be awesome. So got it all organized here. I also, while I was uh, cutting up all these pieces, I also cut some extra walnut pieces these are a quarter inch thick, these are an eighth inch thick. Um, the, these ones are gonna be um, glued in later, um, going this way in this direction, once the whole board is assembled. Still gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that, but um, first step is going to be assembling this, um, and really it's just gonna be gluing it all together. There's a lot of joints here, there's gonna be a lot of glue, it's gonna be a lot of a mess. So um, that's gonna be the next step, and I'm going to do that right now. All right guys, so the panel is smoothed out. It's ready to go. Um, we got all the lanes headed this way, so now we need to divide this pattern up uh, you know, horizontally. So I'm gonna be adding more walnut strips in there. So I'm gonna first cut this, with the radial arm saw, cross cut it, and then we can glue in those strips. So I have my, um, my cuts laid out, or at least written down. Um, so I'm going to start, I'm gonna first trim this up on the edge to make it a nice, uh, you know, 90 degree uh, you know flat edge on one side and then start cutting strips that we can you know insert the walnut strips in and then glue it all back up together again so I'm gonna do that
all right guys check it out so the board is all cut we got all our pieces here i kept them organized um the way you know they were originally arranged in the um in the original board um so that the grain is going to be continuous so now what we need to do is add these walnut strips again these walnut strips are a quarter inch thick as opposed to the other ones that were an eighth inch thick this is going to divide the board up a little bit further um so this section that I'm working on on the right hand side right here, this is the starting gate for the horses. Um, this is where they're going to start. This is the finish line. Um, I'll be showing you that once it's all assembled, but this is the way it's going to be. Um, so as you can see, you got all the lanes there and then uh, all the starting positions. This is the running track. It's the finish line. So uh, I'm gonna go glue this up the same way I did previously. Um, try to keep it pretty flat. Try to limit the amount of glue squeeze out that I have because I do not want to try to plane this. Now that the grain is gonna be running in all different directions, I'm gonna have to just sand it smooth. So um, let's glue this up, see how that goes. All right, now that the board is cut to its final dimensions, the next thing I wanna do is cut a chamfer around the four sides of the board, on the top side of the board. Um, so I tilted my blade to 45 degrees, and I'm going to first cut the two sides of end grain, and then I'll come back through and rip the two other sides after I move my rip fence to the other side of the blade. I have a right tilting blade, so that's what I'll have to do. Um, using, going to be doing the end grain um, using this miter gauge that I just got. So let's go ahead and do that. So the next step is going to be drilling out a bunch of holes on this board. Um, these holes are going to accept golf tees, which the horses will be sitting on or glued to. And uh, that's what's going to allow the horse to move along the board. Um, those golf tees need to be able to sit in some holes along this board. I took the time and figured out that a 3 16 inch bit is going to work well with the tees that I have. So that's what I have set up in my drill press. What's up guys, welcome back to Abby's Designs. Today I'm going to start building a horse racing game is what I'm calling this. Um, I know you real, I, uh... All right guys, check it out. So the cutting board, <laughs> it's not a cutting board. Our lane's ready to go. Um, so the next thing is we need to add some cross um, I don't know what to call them, cross uh, designs. <laughs> 